Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the administration of abdominal medication. I'm in the appropriate school attire. Badge is visible. No polish, no acrylic nails, no jewelry. To start the skull off, I will verify my physician's orders for my patient. Then I will verify the six rights of patient administration. That is the right patient, right medication, right dose, route, time, and documentation. After uh, verifying those six, I will check the medication in the EHR. The medication prescribed is Temelol, 0.25% solution, 3.4 milligrams per milliliter. And the order reads one drop in each eye twice a day. Okay. For this skill, there's no dosage calculation required. The medication is prepped and ready to go. This is going to be my first step in verifying my medication with the MAR. I need to do it three times before ever administering um, any medication to a patient. Okay, I will gather my medication and my supplies and head to my patient's room. I will knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy and to avoid any HIPAA violations. Set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will come over here, no hand hygiene, and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Ms. Smith. My name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with their wristband, and this would be my two-patient identifier. Awesome. That is correct. Um, do you have any allergies that need to be made aware of? No? No allergies? All right. Well, I'm going to just take a look at my computer here, and I'll be right back, okay? Get the medication. Verify with the MAR for the second time. All right, Ms. Smith. Well, I'm here today because your doctor ordered you to have some ophthalmic medication, eye medication. Um, the medication you'll be receiving is Timolol. Um, he wanted you to have one drop in each eye per day, or twice a day, excuse me, and it is to treat your glaucoma. Now, what it does, it's a beta blocker, which means it reduces the intraocular pressure, that pressure in your eye, um, to help alleviate that glaucoma. Um, so, as I'm sure you're aware, there's side effects that concur with any medication taken um, for Timolol. Some common side effects is uh, blurred vision, sensitivity to light, um, maybe a slight headache. Those can be common, um, but if they do persist or tend to get any worse, please let me know. Some adverse reactions uh, to this medication. We do not want this to happen. This requires immediate attention and um, I'll notify your provider. Um, so if anything like this happens, maybe chest pain, any shortness of breath, any swelling, whether that's localized to your face or if it's traveling down your throat or anything like that, let me know as soon as possible. Of course, they will come back and uh, check on you after administering the medication, but still, if it happens to arise before that, please let me know as soon as possible. Um, also, I want to tell you that when... Um, applying the Timolol in your eyes, it is common that you can feel some like slight stinging and burning upon contact, okay? I just want to make you aware of that. Do you have any questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. Well, um, I'm going to take uh, one last look at my computer and then get you ready, okay? Third time, checking the medication against the mark. All right, I'm going to hand hygiene. I'm going to get some gloves on, Miss Smith. So, for the medication to be administered appropriately. It is best that I lay you uh, flat in the bed um, just for application purposes. It's a little bit easier. Make sure we get it in your eye properly. So I'm going to lay you supine back in the bed. All right. And I'm going to raise the bed, lower side rail. Are you comfortable, Miss Smith? Awesome. All right. When um, cleaning a patient's eye, I want to make sure I start at the inner canvas and work my way out. I never want to scrub the eye or put direct pressure on the eyeball. All right, Ms. Smith, so before applying the medication, I do want to just clean your eyes, make sure you don't need buildup or anything like that, okay? All right, I'm going to get a wash rag here, wipe from the inside to the outside. Good. Get a clean part of the wash rag, wipe from the inside to the outside. Very nice. I'm going to dispose of this in my wastebasket over here. There we go. Are you comfortable, Ms. Smith? Awesome. All right. So we're going to move on to the medication. All right. I'm going to hand hygiene. Put on some new gloves. So, Miss Smith, when applying the drops in your eye, like I said, the stinging and burning, but also try not to blink or anything like that um, or close your eye because then I would have to administer the medication again. Okay? All right. Um, when administering the medication, taking off lid. I'm going to get a tissue here 
and I'm going to press down on your cheekbone there. I want to expose your uh, lower eyelid, the um, conjunctival sac. That's where I drop the medication. I never want to drop directly on your cornea. I just drop the lower eyelid there, okay? Okay. I'm going to get my non-dominant hand. Press down on her um, cheekbone here, exposing the extranctable sac. Dominant hand. Can you look up for me, Miss Smith? Dominant hand resting on her forehead. I'm going to bring it about one to two centimeters away from her conjunctival sac and drop. Boop. All right, dispose of that. Get a clean tissue. I'm going to apply pressure here on the ear inner eye, Miss Smith, okay? I apply pressure on her con um, nasal lacrimal duct. I typically would do it in real life for about 30 to 60 seconds. This prevents any systemic effect. Um, for this COVID video, I'm not going to do it that long. All right, Miss Smith, kind of blink your eye for me. There you go. Okay, dispose of this. Always want to get a clean tissue when moving to the other eye. All right, same thing. I'm going to pull down on your cheekbone here to expose. Non-dominant hand, dominant hand, look up for me. Drop one to two centimeters away from conductal sac. There you go. Okay, dispose of this. Get a clean tissue. Press on the nasal lacrimal duct. 30 to 60 seconds. Blink for me. There we go. All right, good. Are you okay, Miss Smith? Any complications? No? Okay. All right. I'm going to sit you back on the bed, okay? Um, brought the side rail up, lowered the bed. Are you comfortable? Awesome. I'm going to make sure I disposed of my tissues in the trash. I'm going to remove my gloves. All right. I am finished with the um, procedure. My patient has stated she is comfortable. Her bed is low. So two top side rails are up. She has her call light here. My medication is fully closed and ready for next use. I will hand hygiene. Grab my medication, and I will go document my results.